Our world is a weird place that's full of surprises. But would you believe that only about 35% of the Earth has been explored and mapped, while the remaining 65% is left unseen? Thanks to Earth's mysteries, there are numerous tales of creatures unheard of. And sometimes, those are the most terrifying and bizarre creatures of all. Or are they merely hoaxes and the result of overactive imaginations? No matter what you believe, I think it's safe to say that the members of this list are the stuff of nightmares. And if encountered, even the most hardened individual would tremble with fear. Welcome to Mind Read, where today we'll bring you a list of 10 mysterious creatures all around the world. So, without further delay, let's get started. Number 10. Mongolian Deathworm the Mongolian deathworm has the ability to kill up close and from a distance. You should hope you never come across this creature, because the chances are slim that you'd make it out alive. The Mongolian deathworm is a warm-blooded creature in the shape of a sausage, without any noticeable eyes, nose, or a mouth. The Mongolian deathworm can kill from a distance by spewing corrosive yellow saliva and generating an electric discharge. However, the simple act of touching the worm can also lead to instant death. The Mongolian deathworm travels underground and can be spotted by the waves of sand that appear on the surface of the desert when it passes. Experts claim that the desert is too hot for actual worms to survive, which leads them to believe the Mongolian deathworm is a venomous snake or a legless, burrowing lizard. The monster's skin is an exoskeleton, which molts when it becomes injured. And when the worms are above ground, they are able to move around by rolling or squirming sideways. Russian scientists allegedly uncovered a dead specimen in 1972, but the specimen disappeared and is rumored to be hidden inside the basement of a Russian museum. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for all of you that'll just take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And boom, 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9. Bigfoot Indigenous folklore of the Pacific Northwest tells of cannibalistic hairy men and giants who roam the great forests and mountains of the region, abducting children in the dead of night and sabotaging the salmon-catching nets of fishermen. America's interest in the Sasquatch, later to be known as Bigfoot, grew after stories of its existence were serialized in newspapers at the turn of the 20th century. The craze went into overdrive in 1967, after two Californians screened a short documentary of footage they had allegedly filmed of the monster. The film filled out a few local movie theaters and scored them appearances on TV talk shows. This spawned decades of mostly fruitless Bigfoot hunts, as well as a series of hoaxes, and led to the establishment of various societies devoted to the search. A friend of the 1967 filmmakers later claimed that the creature had been him in an ape costume, roaming through the woods, though competing theories still abound. But what do you think? Does the Bigfoot really exist? Let us know in the comments below. Number 8. Lizard Man of Scape or Swamp the Lizard Man, being particularly terrifying, deserves a high place on this list. This humanoid cryptid is said to inhabit the swampland areas in and around Lee County, South Carolina, with the most recent notable sighting in February 2008. The creature is described as being 7 feet 2 inches tall, bipedal with a strong build, green scaly skin, and glowing red eyes. Reports state that the Lizard Man has three toes on each foot and three fingers on each hand. As evidenced by the damage done to the vehicles of those unfortunate enough to encounter it, the creature also possesses incredible strength. He's clearly capable of ripping into a car. So pulling over in his area is a pretty bad idea. There is, of course, little evidence to prove the existence of the Lizard Man and plenty of evidence to suggest otherwise. Starting with the fact that the latest sighting appears to be a man in a rubberized costume. Number 7. Bunyip for those who grew up in Australia, the Bunyip will be familiar. The Bunyip is a large mythical creature from Australian Aboriginal mythology, said to lurk in swamps, billabongs, creeks, riverbeds, and waterholes. A 19th century newspaper clipping describes it as having a dog-like face, dark fur, a horse-like tail, flippers, and walrus-like tusks. The very first description of this bizarre Australian cryptid appeared in a newspaper in 1845. The bunyip, then, is represented as uniting the characteristics of a bird and an alligator. 
It has a head resembling an emu with a large bill, while its body and legs partake of the nature of the alligator. The hind legs are remarkably thick and strong, and the forelegs are much longer, but still of great strength. And when it walks on its hind legs, it measures 12 or 13 feet in height. Over the years, the folklore of the bunyip has descended down to even children's storybooks. The story of the bunyip also serves as a lesson of the dangers of the environment. It's a cautionary tale, reminding children of the risks of playing around water holes, especially at night. Number 6. Sigbin The Sigbin is a terrifying creature from the Philippines, said to lurk in the shadows at night, sucking the blood of their victims by consuming their shadows. The Sigbin is said to walk backwards, with its head lowered between its hind legs. It also has the convenient advantage of invisibility, especially on humans who are vulnerable to its powers of deception. It resembles a mere hornless goat, but has very large ears, which it can clap with like a pair of hands, and a long, flexible tail, which can be used as a whip. The Sigbin is said to emit a nauseating odor. Sometimes it has a tendency to crawl backwards, looking for children to devour. In 2005, scientists in Borneo discovered a cat-fox-like carnivore with hind legs longer than its forelegs, suggesting that it was endowed with the awkward gait and terrifying physical appearance of the Sigbin. Indeed, many of the characteristics are uncannily similar, but no conclusive evidence has yet been unearthed. Number 5. Pope Lick Monster in most accounts, the Popelik monster, named after Popelik Creek, appears as a human-goat hybrid with the grotesquely deformed body of a man. It has powerful, fur-covered goat legs, an alabaster-skinned face, with an aquiline nose, and wide-set eyes. Short, sharp horns protrude from the forehead, nestled in long, greasy hair that matches the color of the fur on its legs. Numerous urban legends exist about the creature's origins and the method it employs to claim its victims. According to some accounts, the creature uses either hypnosis or voice mimicry to lure trespassers onto the trestle to meet their death before an oncoming train. Other stories claim the monster jumps down from the trestle onto the roofs of cars passing beneath it. Still more legends tell that it attacks its victims with a blood-stained axe. Number 4. Owlman Monan Cornwall, 1976 if you were alive at this time, you would have overheard the first reports of a creature called the Owlman. The first sighting took place on April 17, 1976, when the creature was spotted hovering menacingly close, right above the Mall Nan Church Tower. Oddly enough, sightings up to August 1978 all occurred within the vicinity of this church. This cryptid, which unsurprisingly had the appearance of an owl, is about the size of a man. It has pointed ears, red eyes, and black pincer-like claws, and its body bears some similarities to the more famous Mothman. It's supposed to have large wings of a grayish color. Somewhat eerily, there were many UFO reports, as well as accounts of animals behaving strangely in the surrounding area just prior to the Owlman sightings. Yet another similarity to the Mothman case. Number 3. Giant Anaconda the vast, teeming Amazon rainforest can kill you in all sorts of ways, but the most lethal terror reputed to be lurking in these parts is the giant anaconda, a lightning-quick snake more than 30 feet long. Scientists believe that such a monstrous version of the anaconda, which in real life rarely grows beyond, in already scary, 17 feet, no longer exists, although that hasn't deterred generations of explorers. Even U.S. President Teddy Roosevelt put a bounty of $50,000, a kingly sum in his time, on the skin of the first giant anaconda brought into the Bronx Zoo. However, the prize went uncollected, though the famous British adventurer Percy Fawcett claimed he spotted one in 1907, but apparently didn't have the means to overcome and retrieve it. He later disappeared during an expedition in the Brazilian jungle, never to be heard from again. Number 2. Ropin the valleys and jungles of Papua New Guinea are known to hold a treasure trove of undiscovered and unclassified species of flora and fauna. Among them, some suggest is the ropin, a winged reptilian creature that resembles, or perhaps is, a pterodactyl. Indeed, the ropin has become the flying hobby horse of creationists who seek to find living dinosaurs as proof that the Earth is far younger than evolutionary scientists lead the rest of the world to believe. In 2006, a Texan named Paul Nation traveled to Papua New Guinea's mountainous interior and set up camp in a local village near a rumored ropin roost. 
He never saw the creatures directly, but captured footage of their lights in the sky, as Ropin are supposedly bioluminescent. After a few nights of observation, Nation left his post, having only seen the aura of the myth rather than the real thing. All right, so before we unravel our final mystery creature, let's give a big round of applause to Jenna Thomas from New Zealand for sending in this amazing thumbnail. Thanks, Jenna. Number one, the Goatman. Described as a hybrid beast that bears a horrific combination of both human and goat-like characteristics, this horned, hoofed, goat-featured horror would seem to be a modern reinterpretation of the ancient satyrs found in Greek myths. Yet, eyewitnesses claim that this fiend is not a figment from beyond mythology, but a living, breathing, flesh-and-blood creature that is not to be trifled with. The first official report of this brute hails from 1957, when eyewitnesses reported seeing a hairy, horned monster in the areas of Forestville and Upper Marlboro in Prince George's County. Following that wave of sightings, the beast apparently decided to lay low until the summer of 1962, when the Goatman was accused of killing no less than 14 people, 12 children and two accompanying adults, who were apparently hiking too close to its lair. The survivors, who of course remain unidentified, claim that the Goatman violently hacked its victims to pieces with an axe, all while emitting ghastly sounds of the devil himself. 